Lou Key Reef is located about six miles offshore of Big Pine Key and is one of my favorite places to dive and snorkel in the Keys. So it's January 3rd and we're here in our hotel room, which at the Lou Key Resort, and we are right here next to the water. So all I have to do is walk out our door and we're here where the boat's gonna take us up to go diving. So very nice. Yeah. Yay! Very easy place to go diving. <laughs> Literally roll out of bed. So uh, hoping the winds will calm a little bit today and it will be a little bit nicer out there. It was a little choppy and rough uh, yesterday from what we heard, but excited. Here we go. After a briefing by our captain and dive master, we were on our way out to the reef. As we approached, we could see the waves breaking along the crest of the reef. All the swells and the waves coming in from the open ocean are really blocked by that reef. And of course, once we're on the other side, we were exposed to all of that. So the best place to be, underwater. Once we got to the bottom, it was kind of clear that it wasn't going to be very clear. It was very milky with lots of sediment in the water. But that doesn't stop a lot of the marine life from showing up. Florida's coral reefs are struggling. 
a multi-year outbreak of coral disease reached Lu Key in 2018. We found plenty of corals that were not healthy. I've been coming down to the Key since I was a kid, and I've definitely noticed a decrease in coral coverage over the years. These reefs are facing a variety of threats, including natural occurrences such as Hurricane Irma in 2017 that did a lot of damage here, and some of the large-scale issues such as increased global ocean temperatures and ocean acidification. On the local level, we have a lot of coastal runoff that carries pollutants and nutrients into the water, which can cause problems as well. And of course, there's exotic species such as the lionfish that are really becoming a big issue throughout the Caribbean as well. There is hope in the healthy stands of coral that I found throughout the reef and the great biodiversity of fish and invertebrates that call this place their home. Luki is still one of my favorite reefs, and hopefully I'll get back there soon when it's a little clearer. However, until next time, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and keep exploring! <laughs>